Does our bodies fall apart the older that we get? Old age. get old what happens to your body hello y'all I'm Diana Brienne well I was out on my five mile run today and I got to thinking about as we grow older and what happens and the changes that can occur to our bodies well I don't give suggestions I don't give advice I just give you my opinions on a lot of different issues and this is just one of the many and from my experiences and from the experiences that I've seen of other people that I've known, I'll share some of those with you. So what happens to our bodies after we pass the age of 60? Well, I think a lot of it depends upon a lot of different things. I think it depends upon the person's genetics. I think it depends upon how well they have taken care of themselves. I think it is also just kind of the you know, the way things are. And so for me, I believe, you know, I'm 63 years old and I believe in taking great care of my body. I do everything that I know of possible to take great care of me. I work out every day. I make sure to get plenty of rest, plenty of healthy water. I eat right. I eat healthy to the best of my ability. And I just take care of myself. And so what happens uh, when you take great care of yourself and things either wear out or something goes wrong? I think we can take meticulous care of ourselves and things can still happen. I don't think just because we take care of ourselves that, that that's a full guarantee, guarantee that nothing is ever going to occur. I don't think that there are guarantees when it comes to health. But I do think that we can stack the deck in our favor if we do the right things to take care of our bodies. I realize that as we get older, things can wear out. Body parts can wear out and we have to go in and get them replaced or fixed or tweaked or whatever it happens to be. You know, growing older um, can be a wonderful, wonderful time of our life. But if we're not feeling well, or if we're sick, it can make that time very challenging and difficult in a lot of different ways. And so, first of all, I think it starts with great self-care, taking care of who we are, taking care of our bodies, and uh, taking care of our minds, taking care of our relationships, taking care of all the important areas of our lives. And I think, you know, like one of my neighbors said one time, she said, life is lived in between the doctor's appointments at her age. And I think for her, there was truth to that. I'm not sure if there would be truth for that for everyone, but for a lot of people, I think that's true. And I think that as we grow older, we also have to understand, or at least I understand, that, you know, sometimes um, we may need to go to a doctor and have something fixed or repaired. That can happen at any stage of life, not just when we're older. But as we get older and body parts tend to wear out, sometimes that's a given that we need to do that. And, you know, so far I've been very, very fortunate and yet I don't take that for granted. I'm alert and aware that at some point, you know, I may need something done too. I hope not, but it could always be. Like I said, I believe in taking great care of my body. I believe in doing everything I can to promote great health now and in my future. And yet I'm also aware that I'm getting older. And as I get older, um, there is a possibility that things can wear out. And if that's the situation, then I have to probably go to a doctor and have them fix it if they can fix it. You know, that's just the way it is. You know, when I passed 40, I noticed my eyes started to change a little bit when I read, but it wasn't until I started college a year and a half ago that I actually needed to wear reading glasses because I was behind the computer so much. Now, if I was 22, I probably would not have that problem. So that is kind of one of the issues as we grow older is our eyesight can change, at least for me it did. 
and I still have essentially 20, 25 vision, um, which is excellent, especially for someone my age. But when I read, I need to wear reading glasses. And, um, you know, some people notice that their blood pressure changes when they get older and they could eat anything when they were younger and never gain weight. But as they get older, now they're putting on weight and they're hardly eating anything at all. So I think our bodies and our metabolisms can change as we age. And I think it's very important to be aware of that. And it's very important to be aware that sometimes we have to accommodate our body in a new way so that we can keep it healthy. And so I believe in being proactive in my life the older I get. I don't think we necessarily fall apart. I think but sometimes, I'm well, I've known people that are in their 80s and 90s that are going strong. And maybe they've had a few parts to them replaced or fixed or tweaked or whatever, a few surgeries along the way, but overall they're doing excellent. And I've known people well into their 70s that never had anything done, that they stayed healthy all the way through. So I think it's kind of a mixed bag. We just don't know. And I think that the older we get, we just need to be prepared for the possibilities and the what ifs. And hopefully none of those happen. And in the meantime, we take wonderful care of ourselves and also getting great competent doctors um, and, and knowing who the great competent doctors are if we ever need them. And so that's my thoughts about growing older and our bodies. And I don't think we fall apart. At least I haven't fallen apart yet. And I hope I don't. So anyhow, I hope I stay healthy and I hope you stay healthy and I hope we all stay healthy. So may God bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon again from Grandma's House. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all of my channels. Grandma's Porch with Diana Brienne Fairchild. Grandma's House with Diana Brienne Fairchild. Grandma's Adventures with Diana Brienne Fairchild. And my original channel, Diana Brienne Fairchild. Hope to talk to you soon. May God bless you. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's work.